Welcome to our webinar. Today you will learn how to create apps with role-based access, create apps for different platforms, preview apps on different devices, utilize Snappy Cloud database, collect rich data such as photos, signatures, barcodes, etc. Using our native features you will be able to make apps that have a unique look and feel, no programming skills required. At the end of the webinar you will be able to ask questions. To ask a question, please use the questions box on the webinar panel. When you first register on our website, you are offered to start making your first app. You try any pre-built app that you can copy to your account, customize and test, or you create an app from scratch. Either way, maybe what you see is what you get, visual edit will open. To the left from the iPhone canvas, you see information about the app icons, splash screen, colors and fonts, app name, app information, various app settings, sign up email that you can send to your registered app users, HTML5 web app settings, user management, which means role-based access to the app. You can control who has access to this user management setting. So you can create apps that use authentication and have role-based access. PayPal settings. If your app utilizes product list, shopping cart, donations or other payments. Once you set up the app name, icon and basic color theme, you need to save your app here. To the right from the iPhone canvas, you see tabs, buttons and fields. Tabs, also known as pages, are placed at the bottom of the iPhone. Buttons are added on the tabs and fields are added on the forms. You can see that when you first enter the editor, the canvas you will be working on is iPhone by default. And the name for this canvas is set to Universal. It means that all the elements you add to this app will be available for every form platform iPhone, iPad, Android smartphone and tablet. If you select a particular canvas to create your app for, for example iPhone 5, it will not be available to view from other devices. So when you select a new canvas, you have options start with black canvas, copy opened canvas, copy opened canvas adjusted for this canvas size. Click OK and you see you have the new canvas. When you want to delete it, select the canvas from the list and click to remove it. It will switch back to the universal. When you add tabs and buttons, you see that their names and images can be changed. Click to specify your icon for the tab. You can select an icon from our library or upload your own from computer. Tabs can only be black and white. You can drag and drop an image to have a background for your app. You can upload your image from computer, specify a web page, find on web or specify image link. Specify background height and width. Unlike tabs, buttons can be any shape, any size, any color and font. To preview your app, you need to first save it and then download Snappy Preview app from iTunes or Google Play and then log in with your Snappy credentials. 
Today let me show you how to create apps that have role-based access. Let's open user management window. You see that by default we have three user types, Anonymous, Logged In and App Reviewer. When you click on the tab and this small lock button, you see all these user management in here. When you unchecked logged in or anonymous user, for example, it means that they will not be able to see this tab. When you add a check next to logged in user, it means that only logged in user can view this tab. And it will be unavailable for anonymous users. You can upload your own list of users, predefined users or members. Click this question mark and download sample. You see that you need to enter username, email address, password, user type and expiration date. Once you fill this with your own data, save it and click to upload. Once you upload your list of users, you need to save your app, then refresh it and you will see uh, the number of users you have added. Once you click them, you see them all listed here. Now I'll show you how to create forms and split them into pages. Let's create a form for medical home care. For example, doctor visit note. It will look this way. You see that at the bottom there is a percentage. Uh, it shows uh, the completion of the form. Once the app user fills out all this data, you then can scroll to the right and uh, fill the form. For our form to look this way, we need to create an Excel spreadsheet. We need to insert the headers for each form field that we use in our form. See that uh, the Excel spreadsheet headers should not contain spaces or numbers. This information will not be shown anywhere in the app. It is needed for our internal usage. Once you create this spreadsheet, Click the data source dialog. Click to upload data. Select your spreadsheet and upload it. Once uploaded, the table will open. The column names are taken from the spreadsheet. You need to match the column name with the column type. So for the person name, we will use text. If you are collecting signatures, you will use image. If you want to show a map, you will use location. If you are using date and time, these are the fields you should match. Once matched, click Save. And your data source will appear to the left. Click Close. Now drag and drop the universal form. Click to specify your icon. I will upload my from computer. Height and width. Submit by data source. Select the data source you have just uploaded. Submit by email. Specify the email addresses this form will go to. And this will be the name of the form. And here with the view, you need to insert the title. You can specify the formats uh, this form will go to. It will go as PDF or as spreadsheet or as email body. 
submit by web post if you're using your own web services configure your element for example you want to close form after submit show messages show clear submit buttons time settings and paging this is the pagination I want to uh, talk about click manage and logically split your form into pages click the plus button and insert the title purpose for the visit during visit treatment lab work and follow up the names start from the second page the name of the first page is taken from the form name once you manage the pagination and other form settings, click OK. And you see our pages formed this way. Now click the first page and start adding fields to it. Person being seen by doctor. This will be the name of the field as well as the placeholder. The placeholder is the text that your app users see so that they know what information they need to enter. The data type is text in this case. You select if this field is required or not. And you need to select the field from our data source, which is person name. Now drag and drop the date time element. Date and time of appointment. Select date and time. If it's required or not, select the field. After a while, uh, you will get something like this. This data will be sent to the predefined email address as well as be stored in the Snappy Cloud database. You can download it from the editor as an Excel spreadsheet. Just click Data Source dialog, then select your form and click Download Data. Another way to store this data on a device is to add the Advanced List button. So drag and drop the Advanced List. Specify your icon. Security. This is the user management I was talking about before. So you can select who has access to this data. You can add data, delete data, and update data. List view. Here you need to select uh, the same exact data source that you used for your form. List view tem uh, template and detail view template. You can choose either from um, pre-built templates that we have or create your own custom view. I will use the template that will show me the person name. 
And once the person name is clicked, I will customize this view and configure your element. Now double click it and click to add a detail view. Now you need to drop just text elements. Two text elements will stand for one and the same information. One of them will be constant and the second one will be taken from the data source. So we are adding the first constant text person name. It is constant so I'm not changing anything. The second field will uh, show me this very person name. I'm not entering any information, I'm just specifying the amount of text needed. You can change the font size, font color. Now select data source and person name. Same with all the rest. Date and time. Our appointment will be constant. So I'm not inserting the actual date and time. It will be taken from the filled out form. Just don't forget to match the data source. Date and time. And click OK. The saved form will look this way. You see we have the fields uh, constant and taken from the data source. Let me show you how it looks like on an image. This is the form. Snappy Cloud Database allows our users to operate any amount of data. You can create apps that connect Snappy Cloud Database or your internal IT systems. Besides, Snappy offers pre-built templates for connectors to such databases as Salesforce, Blogger, MailChimp, Vimeo. The Snappy platform is very flexible and we continue adding new features. We have detailed user manual, tutorials, blog, and are now adding a support forum. After working on your app for a while, you can get great results. Just preview your app on your device. You will see how adding tabs, buttons, and different elements you create absolutely custom apps. Now let's know.